The first award is the Cunard Best Revival, and here to present it, two beloved household names who have been delighting audiences for years. One is soon to be seen reimagining all the characters in Great Expectations, and the other is fresh from her absolute triumph playing Shirley Valentine in the West End. Please welcome the glorious Eddie Izzard and Sheridan Smith! <laughs> Just the music I wanted. Now, <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for being here. It's great to be the first people to uh, start off the show. Uh, and I should say, Sheridan, we're almost in direct competition because we're both doing solo shows. Yeah. You're in uh, uh, the Duke of York Theatre, and I'm in the Garrick Theatre, and they're almost back to back mm -hmm. in, in the West End. Yeah. Your story is about a woman who is, uh, takes control of her life and changes it for the better. And Great Expectations is about the story of uh, Miss Havisham. Uh, she's big in the story, and she. No, she doesn't do anything, does she? It's like that. <laughs> she should have gone to Greece. <laughs> yes. Yes. Charles Dickens did write a version where Miss Havisham goes to Greece, but then, then he cut it out. Anyway, um, the nominees These are... are... <laughs> Cunard Best Revival. The Crucible at the National Theatre, Olivier. Good, at the Harold Pinter Theatre. Jerusalem at the Apollo Theatre. A streetcar named Desire at the Almindi Theatre. And the Olivier goes to, you're going to read out. <laughs> A streetcar named Desire! <laughs> Gosh, thank you so much for this. When I think back to where we were towards the end of last year, we, it looked like we weren't going to have a show at all to put on. So if you'd have told me this would where we'd be standing this year, I wouldn't have believed you. But I have so many thank yous. Um, I have to thank the Almeida team for sticking by this show uh, through some really tough times. Thank you to Rupert for keeping it going through two years of a pandemic as well, because this should have been on a while ago. Uh, thank you to um, Adam Spears and the team at ATG for taking us so successfully into the Phoenix as well. And I just have to thank this incredible group of creators and actors who have just been with me through thick and thin and just have really responded to this play in an extraordinary way. And just have to thank Tennessee Williams, really. <laughs> I mean, the play is the thing, really, and I think he, he gave us magic instead of realism, and that's what we all needed. Everyone went through some dark times on this show, and it was a, 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 an absolute privilege and a pleasure to make it with this, with this extraordinary group of artists. So thank you for recognizing it. It's been an absolute joy. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>